Harry has a choice of three types of bread. Pita, rye or white. And four fillings. Beef, chicken, ham or turkey. How many different sandwiches can Harry order? So we put the outcomes of Harry's choice of fillings on the side of the table. And the outcomes for his choice of bread on the top of the table. Or this could be done vice versa. It is much easier to use letters to represent each of Harry's choices. So we see we have bread going along the top. So we've got pitta, which is represented by a capital P, Roy, which is represented by a capital R, and white, which is represented by a capital W. And then we have the fillings along the side, beef represented by a capital B, chicken represented by a capital C, ham represented by a capital H, and turkey represented by a capital T. We then look at the intersection of beef and pitta in the table. In this box, we fill in beef and pitta as BP. The outcome in the blue box is that Harry has chosen a beef pitta sandwich. So he chose beef and pitta. So we got BP, which represents a beef and pitta sandwich. So we then fill in the rest of the table. So we're going to have chicken and pita going in this box here. So we end up with CP. Then ham and pita going in this box here. So we end up with HP. Then turkey and pita going in this box here. So we end up with TP. Then beef and rye ending up in this box here. So we go with BR. Then chicken and rye going in this box here. So we end up with CR. Then ham and rye ending up in this box here, so we go with HR. Then, then turkey and rye ending up in this box here, so we go with TR. Then beef and white ending up in this box here, so we go with BW. Then chicken and white ending up in this box here, so we go with CW. Then ham and white ending up in this box here, so we go with HW. Then turkey and white ending up in this box here, so we go with TW. So these are all our possible options. It is now a simple matter of using the table to list all the outcomes. With an example like this, it would be more common to ask how many different choices Harry could have. It is clear from the table that there are 4 times 3, which is 12 choices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12.